we are busy with topic 9 algebraic equations and more particular we are going to focus on 9.2 solving equations page 85 to 86 so number one of exercise 9.2 on page 85 we solve these equations i'm going to focus firstly on number d so according to number d 5x minus 3 equals 27 we know our strategy is to have the letters of the alphabet or the variables on one side and to have the numbers on the other side so the 27 is already on the right hand side the negative 3 we want to cross the equal river as soon as it crosses the river it change sign it becomes positive 3 so therefore 5x is equal to 30 we don't want 5x we only want x so currently we are multiplying the x by 5 we have to do the opposite to get rid of the 5 we will have to divide so that we only have x now what we do to the left we will have to do to the right so the 30 we also have to divide by the 5 and 5 goes into 30 six times so therefore x is equal to 6 uh, next we are going to focus on f um, we have 6 over x is equal to 2 um, we have fractions as soon as I see a fraction I want to get rid of a fraction so um, currently we are dividing by x if we multiply the 6 by the x then we will get rid of that fraction because the two x's will cancel so, but what we do to the left, we will have to do to the right. So we will have to multiply the right also by x. So now we have the x's that cancel. We are only left with 6 on the left. And on the right, we have 2 times x, which is 2x. But remember, our strategy is we simply want x on its own. So therefore we have to get rid of the 2. Currently we are multiplying by 2. So if we divide by 2, the 2's are allowed to be cancelled. But what we do to the right, we have to do to the left. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we have x remaining. So therefore x is equal to 3. Uh, number two, I'm going to focus on number C of two. Tandy is six years older than Mafundu. In three years' time, Tandy will be twice as old as Mafundu. How old is Tandy now? So we have, so let's say, let T be Tandy's age. So it's Tandy's age now. Similarly, let M be Mfundu. Mfundu's age now. So Tandy is six years older than Mfundu. So Tandi is therefore equal to Mafundu's age plus another six years. In three years' time, Tandi will be twice as old as Mafundu. So if Tandi is now T years old, in three years' time, we will have to add another three. Let's say Tandi is now 10. Um, 
So in three years time, Dundee will be 13. So we just take the 10 and add three. So similarly, we can simply add three to the T. Mafundu, if Mafundu is now M in three years time, Mafundu will be M plus three. Okay, so, um, but now what is important, um, Tandi will be twice as old as Mufundu in three years' time. So we have Mufundu's age now in three years' time, but we still have to multiply that by two because Tandi will be twice as old. So now we have two equations and we can see we have two unknowns. So but now, fortunately, if we have two equations and two unknowns, we can actually solve our equation. We, can, we know now that t is m plus 6. So, from our first equation, we can simply replace wherever we see a t with m plus 6. So now, instead of t in our second equation, we have m plus 6 in brackets since we replace or substitute the t. We can't stay, change the structure, so we still have plus 3 equals. And now, on this right-hand side, we only have m's, but we know Botmas is first. We can, though, not add unlike terms, so we have to use the distributive rule. Law that says takes what what's in front of the bracket, multiply by the first term, which is m, and then take what's in front of the bracket. We know if there's not a negative, it means it's a positive, and multiply by the second term inside the bracket, which is plus three. So now we can simpli simplify. So we have m. 6 plus 3 is 9, so we have m plus 9, let's look on the right hand side, we have 2 times m, which is simply 2m, and then we have plus 2 times plus 3, a plus times a plus is a plus, 2 times 3 is 6. Now our strategy is to get m on its own, so we can swim across the river, I'm going to move this m on the left to the m on the right, since we have more m's on the right. And I prefer working with positive numbers. You could have done it the other way around, though. It's no problem. You still should get the same answer. But so I'm going to swim across. The plus m becomes a negative m. I take the numbers to the left. I already have the positive 9. The positive 6, if it swims to the left, left, the sign change, it becomes negative 6. So, now we have on the left 9 minus 6, which is 3. And on the right, we have 2 m's, we subtract 1 m, so we simply have m. So, therefore, m is 3. So, Fundu is now 3 years old. So, the question actually asks, how old is Tandi now? So, um, Tandi, remember, is Mafundu plus 6. So, therefore, Tandi is equal to Mafundu, and Mafundu, we now just calculated, is 3 years old plus 6. So, therefore, Tandi is 9 years old. So, So we can say Tandi is currently nine years old. We know in three years' time, Tandi will therefore be 12 years old. We know if Mafundu is three, in three years' times, 
Mafundu would be 3 plus 3 is 6 years and we can see it works because in 3 years Dandi will indeed be double Mafundu's age. So that's just a test. It was not part of the question. Number 2e. A number multiplied by itself and then multiplied by itself again gives negative 64. Find the number. We don't know the number, so first step is to say let the number be x or any other letter of the alphabet that will work for you. And now we need to read carefully a number. We don't know the number, so it's x multiplied by itself. So we multiply x by itself. And then multiplied by itself again gives negative 64. So it's equal to negative 64. But now we know if we multiply numbers, we need to increase the power. So it's an invisible one, invisible one, invisible one. So we are multiplying, increasing the powers. So we have 1 plus. 1 plus 1 as our power is equals negative 64. So we have x to the power 3 equals negative 64. Yeah, now we can use inspection to, to see what value if we multiply it by itself 3 times gives negative 64. Uh, now, we know a negative times a negative is a positive times a negative is a negative. So, we need a negative one. So, you can try, say, let's try negative two. Negative two times negative two is positive four. Positive four times negative two is negative eight. It won't work. Let's try negative three. Negative three times negative three is positive nine. Positive 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Won't work. So let's try negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And positive 16 times negative 4 will give you negative 64. So negative 4 will work. So we can say therefore that... x let x equals negative 4 and then you could say left hand side equals negative 4 to the power of 3 which gives us negative 64 which is equal to the right hand side so therefore x is indeed negative the incidentally the other way you could do it is you could say instead of using inspection you can say well we just want x we don't don't want x to the power 3 but what is the opposite of a cube the opposite of a cube is a cube root but now what we do to the left, we will have to do to the right. So we have to find the cube root of negative 64. We know a cube root and the cube cancel, so we just have x. And now we're asking what times what times what gives negative 64. And negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 gives negative 64. We need to keep one of the negative 4s. Number 3. A rectangle is twice as long, twice as long as it is wide. Its perimeter is 108 centimeter. We want to know firstly what is its width. 
Now, we know perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width because we are simply measuring all around this rectangle. So, we have two lengths and we have two widths that we have to add together. So, it's two lengths plus two widths. But now we know the perimeter is 108 centimeters. So in fact, we can replace perimeter with 108 and say that is equal to two lengths plus two widths. But now we know the width is x. So we can replace wherever we see a width, it, we can replace it with a x. And we know the length is 2x. So wherever we see a length, we can replace it by 2x. So therefore, 108 equals 2 times, not the length, we now replace the length with the 2x. So we replace the length with 2x plus 2 times the width. But now not the width, we have to replace the width with the x, because we know the width is x. So we can simplify. So 108 equals 2 times 2 is 4 times x is 4x plus 2 times x. So we can simplify even further. So 4x plus 2x is 6x. Now our strategy is we simply want x. We don't want 6x. So to simply get x, we have to divide by 6. But what we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. So now x is equal to the 6s cancel. How many times does 6 go into 108? Well, 6 goes into 10 once. Remainder 4. So, 6 goes into 48, 8 times. So, x is therefore 18 centimeter. Because remember, our units are important. We are using, we are working in centimeter. So, we have the width because the width is x, which is now 18 centimeter. Number B requires that we have to calculate now the area of, a tri of the rectangle. And we know area equals length times width. But now we have the width. We know the length is double the width. So therefore we know that length equals let's just make it a capital L for length length is 2 times the width which is 18 centimeter so therefore the length is in fact 36 centimeter so we can replace the length with 36 we know the width is 18 centimeter. So we have 36 times 18. So we have 36 times 18. Okay, for me it's easier just to say 36 times 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is also 18. 36 times 2 is 72. I still have to multiply by 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 7 times 9 is 63 plus 1 is 64. So it seems we have an area of 648 square centimeter. We know area is always expressed as square units as it's a two-dimensional um, measurement. Number five, a 
taxi company charges a 15 rand booking fee and a 10 rand per kilometer travel. So no matter how many kilometers you travel, you will have a 15 rand booking fee. And then for each additional kilo kilometer traveled, an extra 10 rand. A passenger only has 250 rand in his wallet. Firstly, write an equation to describe this problem. Okay, so we can say um, it's 15, 15 rand no matter what. Okay, let's, let's say C for charge. So the charge is equal to 15 rand. That's always there no matter what. Plus 10 rand per kilometer traveled. If it's one kilometer, it's 10 rand. If it's 2 kilometers, it is 10 times 2, 20. So this was 10 times 1, 10 times 2. If it's X kilometers, it will be 10 times X. So we have plus 10X, where X is the number of kilometers. So X is number of kilometers and C equals charge. So there we have our equation. So now B, um, can the passenger afford a 30 kilometer trip if the passenger only has 250 rand in his wallet? So Let's replace, because kilometer is 30, let's replace um, X, which represents the number of kilometers, by 13. So our charge is 15 plus 10 times in the place of X, 30. So our charge is 15 plus 30 times 10 is 300. So our charge is 315 rand. But now our passenger only has 250 in the wallet, so the passenger doesn't have enough money. So the answer is no. Um, the passenger does not have enough money.